In this video, we will discuss about introduction to quantum mechanics. Niels Bohr, who made foundational contributions to understand quantum theory, said, those who are not shocked when they first come across quantum theory cannot possibly have understood it. Quantum physics is an interesting, fascinating, and a dramatic subject. Let's see why it is so. We have two areas in physics. Classical physics and quantum physics. Classical physics. It is the physics that existed long before quantum physics. It describes many aspects of nature at an ordinary or macroscopic level. Macroscopic means the objects which are visible to naked eye. Classical physics is based on Newton's laws of motion. In classical physics, everything is deterministic. For example, if a stone is thrown into the air, we can simultaneously determine the position and momentum of that stone along the projectile using Newton's laws of motion. We are able to determine this because the stone follows just one path, it seems simple, and the human mind has no problems with it. Whereas, quantum physics explains the aspects of nature at a microscopic level. That is, atomic and subatomic levels. Classical physics fails to explain the physical phenomenon of atomic particles, such as electrons, protons, neutrons, photons, etc. It is unfortunate, but an interesting revelation. Nothing is deterministic in quantum physics. We go for probability theory to determine the phenomenon of quantum particles. For example, if we throw an electron into space, it is hard to find the position and momentum of an electron simultaneously with greater accuracy. If we find position, we cannot find momentum and vice versa. That means, the more accurately we measure the velocity of a particle, the less accurately we measure its position in space and vice versa. This is called Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. And the particle doesn't exist at all until we observe it. That makes absolutely no sense at all. What is going to be the next position of an electron is completely unknown. Here comes the concept of probability. An electron is found at many places at the same time with some probability. This happens because quantum particles don't move in a single deterministic path. All paths are probabilistic. It became a challenge to the best and brightest of minds to find out how exactly the quantum world works. The first thing that is very different when it comes to quantum physics is that an object can be thought of as a wave and as a particle. It seems impossible, but this is what makes the quantum mechanics interesting. This dual nature is nothing but wave-particle duality. Because of this wave-particle duality, it has become uncertain, probabilistic, and dramatic to perceive quantum theory. We have two experiments to prove that the quantum objects can have two states. Young's double-slit experiment, which demonstrates the wave nature of objects. Einstein's photoelectric effect, which demonstrates the particle nature of objects. The theory of interference of light, diffraction, polarization of light, are explained based on the wave nature of light in quantum mechanics. Whereas, phenomena like photoelectric effect, Compton effect, Zeeman effect, etc., are explained using the particle nature of light. So, light exhibits wave and particle nature. This dual behavior is called the dual nature of light. The failure of classical mechanics was observed first when it was applied to the theory of black body radiation. Max Planck has successfully applied quantum mechanics to black body radiation and proved that the atomic oscillation in a black body emits energy in small discrete packets called quanta. Later, the behavior of atoms and subatomic particles is successfully explained using Planck's quantum hypothesis. In 1926, Max Born properly interpreted wave function using probability theory. Heisenberg introduced the uncertainty principle and Schrodinger developed a well-known different equation for a wave function. 
Einstein's ideas on photons, etc., are the foundations that developed quantum mechanics. In this video, we have discussed about introduction to quantum mechanics.